Avery goes without saying. Tommy, Tommy, any progress? No, 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 no. Tell me later, tell me later. Tommy, this is Avery Carrington. I believe you met at the party? Not in person. Howdy. Avery here has a proposition. <clears throat> Haven't we got other things on our mind? I'm trying to keep the wolves from the door. So could you please cut me some slack? I'm stretched like a wire, and even if I'm dead by the end of the week, I'd like to think that I didn't die poor. Now just okay? calm down, both of you. Son, you help me, and any greaseballs giving you a hard time, I'll see to it they take a long dirt nap. Okay, what could I do for you? This delivery company's got its depot on some prime land. They won't sell. They're hanging on like a big old prairie rat. So we gotta go in there and smoke that vermin out. Head on down there and stir up a hornet's nest. The security will have their hands full, and then you can sneak in and put them out of business. And you could drop by Raphael's for a change of clothes. You might be there a while, but yeah, go for it. Should be a riot. If the balls drop like they should, stop by my office sometime. Who are these pricks anyway? Lawyer pricks, rug-wearing pricks, surrounded by pricks. I know. I want you to know me and my people are doing their utmost to get to the bottom of it. If you'd like to talk to me more privately, what, you can you need find some me action? at the boat. Huh? Okay? Good day, senor. Come in and park yourself on the hide, son. Hell, my daddy used to say, never look a gift horse in the mouth. And by golly, he never did. Would you like a drop of the old Kentucky? No, thanks. A clean thinker. I like that. Now, the property business isn't all about highfalutin paper pushing. It's about dirt and the will to claim that dirt. You with me, son? Oh, yeah. Well, I need some tenacious bastard to let go of some dirt. And you look to me like the kind of guy to persuade him. Persuasion's my forte. Yeah, he'll be down at the country club, down on the golf course. They don't allow guns, so his bodyguards won't be packing lawgivers. Go beat eight tons of crap out of him. Here now, I got you a membership. And boy, you're gonna need more appropriate clothing. This guy's my new friend. I never had a friend with a wig before.
Is this me? Nice ass, baby. Is this guy? Boys, deal with him. Get him! To that psycho! That's my graduation present! Now look here, son. I got a problem and I reckon you could help me with it. I'm no builder. No, I was thinking more of your demolition skills. Now this here, this is the development as planned, and this, this is the property that we're looking at. You're trying to say this new office block is kind of in the way. You catch on quick. Now I'm gonna head out of town for a while, and if that office development would have faced sudden and insurmountable structural problems, then I... As a civil-minded individual, you feel obliged to step in and save the rejuvenation of an important area of the city. Where can I get more guys like you?
Mr. Versetti. Colonel. Thank you for coming. Please sit. Lobster. No, thanks. Uh, I am ashamed to admit that one of the causes of our mutual problem appears to have been the loose tongue of a man I used to trust. I've been carrying Gonzalez for years, but now his incompetence reaches new heights. It's only right that you kill Gonzalez. Did he do it? It's the money that's important to me. For well, this kindness, I'll reward you. And then, we will find your money together. He will be at his penthouse, half drunk probably. Use this. Big mouth of yours. Uh, it's got a blade. Stop running, you fat slime ball. Keep away from me, you cheap bastard. Are you a stupid? Tommy, come and join me. This looks delicious, eh? Copy a snout. No, oh, no, no, no thanks. Tommy, you are like a pompous breeze that has freed me from the stench of corruption. Although I must appear to mourn his passing and carry on with business as usual. This isn't getting me any closer to my money. Tommy, my friend, you are not in liberty now. Here, we do things differently. I will continue with my inquiries, but in the meantime, I have a valuable deal to close. That paper for a friend, Cortez? You're a good friend, Tommy. I knew you would not let me down. I need you to meet a courier who has obtained some valuable technology for me. The rain, she's très wet this time of the year. What? Ah, uh, comment? Look, nice Cortez shirt. sent me. Just give me the damn chips. Oh, d'accord. Please, imperialist American pig. That is propriété of a gouvernement français. Hand it over. You American head. idiot. They followed you here. Shoot it, police. You got to do better, Mr. Snell.
Thomas, I appreciate your coming. Forgive me for getting straight to business. Diaz has asked me to oversee a minor business transaction. Let's hope it goes better than last time. Which is why I thought of you, my friend. I've dropped some protection at the multi-story car park. Pick it up, then go and watch over Diaz's men at the drop-off. Gracias, amigo. Diaz, huh? Apparently that angry midget runs this madhouse. Let's see what that creep has to do with things. All the action I see. Look, you drunk, want to do man. something other than just shadowing me everywhere? Why don't you come along and show me if you're any use? I might just do that. The name's Lance, by the way. Tommy Versetti. Let's go. Boy, you'll have to walk somewhere else. Coltez's new gun. Until more gainful opportunities arise. They'll be here any minute. We both better get a good vantage point. Okay, I'll take the balcony. Oh, yeah. You get oh, the roof yeah. across oh, the yard. down to you. What is your name? Tommy. I see you soon, amigo, I think. Shit. Where's that guy, Lance? 